Hi everybody, this is Pam with Jesus Junk Journals and we are getting ready to do the next art journal challenge which is in Nehemiah. So I'm going to draw my two prompts. Oops, I meant, nope, that's right. <laughs> okay. The, none. the first one is use some lace. Okay, I mean, I guess I can. And then the second one, draw this 10 times. <laughs> okay, wow. Well, those two don't go together at all, do they? <laughs> uh, not sure how Lace and Nehemiah will work, but we'll figure it out. So... Um, I'm going to cut everything up and we will get started on getting the backgrounds ready. I'm getting ready to start my Nehemiah page and I'm just thinking about how I'm going to go about it. I just changed my mind. I had one what direction I was going to go and now I have changed my mind. I'm going to paint the stone work, I think. So I'm going to get some, let's see, let me get some uh, acrylic paint out here. And I kind of want just some neutrals, I think. I'm gonna put tan and let's see. I think I'm gonna smooth out this tan and just kind of not worry about complete even coverage necessarily, because this is gonna be a stone sort of faux finish, I guess, maybe, we'll see. And it's not going to show much because this time I have quite a bit of artwork to put on. I've got quite a bit of scripture that's going to go on here. I'm going to take one of the pictures and put on my small one, I think. But on this big one, I'm going to put most of the scriptures and one picture, I think. Okay, so I'm going to add some white and I'm just going to plop it on here. Can't really go wrong, right? I mean, if it's a kind of a stone pattern, you just really kind of want a variation of color, I guess, that's what I'm thinking. So we'll see how this works out. I think I'll let this dry and then I'm gonna go over it with a stencil just for fun <laughs> and see if I can make it look more like stone. And I think I'm gonna pretty much do the same thing on the small one. Um, sometimes I have different ideas for these, but I really don't for this one. So I'm gonna sort of do the same thing. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry, and then I will be back to do the next layer, so to speak. Okay, so these are dry, and I'm looking at my Dilusions um, paint, and I do have a desert sand, which I think will be perfect. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna try that, and try rubbing that through a stencil, and we'll see how that works out for me. <laughs> Okay, so one at a time. We'll start it with the big one. And I've got this big stencil that I just got the other day. So I'm going to use that to get some texture with this paint. Let's see, we'll see what happens. Okay, get my sponge dauber and go to town on this. <laughs> I'm using some of these smaller holes.
Okay. So there is the texture for that one. And then I will do the small one the same way. Okay, and let this dry, which it, that um, Dilutions paint dries really fast. Oh, by the way, I, I think I told you I was going to use this blue painter's tape to protect my uh, spiral from getting too much paint on it. Okay, so I need to do an in. Okay, so something like... Okay, so... like that. Okay, so. Okay, so there's an end. Get my needed eraser out. Okay, get the matte gel. lace. I forgot my lace. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do Okay, well that lace doesn't look too bad, does it? This looks like kind of an embellishment, so it's not too girly looking. That was kind of what I was afraid I'd have. All right, so now I've got to try to fit all of this, <laughs> all these Bible verses on here. Oh, let's see. Okay, well, here we go.
Okay. All right, I got all the words on, so I'm gonna let that dry and then I'll come back and put the stonework and <laughs> this, the leaves that I have to draw for the prompt. So I'll go back to this one. <laughs> Okay, so I am going to use, let's see, I think I'm going to use a Sharpie. Let's see how this works for me on the small one. So...
Okay. Well, I got it in there. It didn't necessarily need to be there, but that's all right. And then I need to glue these on the side. Okay. All right. Well, there is Nehemiah. <laughs> All right. That was kind of fun. And there's the little Nehemiah. Okay. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed the watching that and um <laughs> It's such a challenge each time, isn't it? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, click like if you did like it. And think about subscribing. And I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye. Prayer. All we can do is pray. No. Prayer changes things. Go ahead and play that clip. I want people to see this. I curse heroin addiction. I curse the supply line of fentanyl into this city. In Jesus' name, I curse. I curse the supply line of heroin and fentanyl into this city. There will be arrests in the next seven days. The police will think they caught a lucky break, but it's not luck. In Jesus' name, let a curse come upon everybody that has a hand in the supply of drugs to this city. FBI, CIA, corrupt DEA, regular gang members, anybody that has their hand in the supply of drugs in this city, I curse that. In Jesus' name, enough deaths. Enough parents having to bury their children. In Jesus' name. This is the man state agents arrested in one of the largest fentanyl busts in recent memory. Now we are talking about a lot of drugs. 24 about hours 700, later. 700,000 individual doses of fentanyl at his Pittsburgh area home. Channel 11's Gabriela DeLuca is live now with how local and state law enforcement piece this all together. Debbie? Lisa and David, the state attorney general, told me this is one of the biggest busts that has happened here in Western PA. He said the fact that this high-level dealer is behind bars will make a difference in our part of the state. Drugs, guns, cars, and cash. Police say Donald right, Taylor all in his home in Braddock. And at a nearby...